how to separate text. There is a paragraph tag which is called P. Okay, and um, so you can put paragraph open and close. Paragraph open and close. Okay, if you don't put the close, it will just uh, start a new paragraph there. Okay, save it and render it. So what the paragraph does is it spaces, it ensures a, a space. Okay, what you call a double space between uh, paragraphs. So you, you can close a paragraph or if you leave it open, it will be, it will simply begin a new paragraph with uh, two lines later. Okay, within the paragraph, you can also do things like uh, align, change the attribute, P space align equal to, so let's say we want to align it to the center. Okay, save it and render it. Okay, notice that uh, something with the spelling, let's use the American spelling, not the UK standard. Okay, so this is uh, aligned to the center. You can also align stuff to the right. Align equal to right. Save it and put it up. Okay, so you can uh, paragraph and align. Now, uh, you can also put bullet points, a list. Notice the ingredients. If I want to put them into a list, there is a tag called L uh, O U L for unordered list. Okay, close it. Unordered list meaning uh, bullet points. So we want uh, these two, three, four, these five ingredients uh, in a bullet point. So what we do is and close them within the li tag, which is a short form for list item. Okay, so every bullet point gets the li open and close tag. Okay, and let's show how it looks like. So a bullet point list is called UL for unordered list. Okay, and uh, why unordered? You can also put an ordered list called OL that will give you a numbered list. Okay, how that looks like. So uh, same thing and, and close everything within LI list item text open and close so each item gets l i tag close be sure to close the brackets close l i close li so this is numbered list save this and let's look at it so unordered list gives you bullet points ordered list gives you uh, a numbered list a o l and u l okay next image okay uh, before that uh, earlier we learned about break command so uh, br that gives us a, a line spacing uh, there's this other tag called um, hr which is horizontal rule okay what that does is it draws a horizontal line uh, across the the page okay you can control the length of the line but they use with w i d t h uh, normally in percentages, let's say I have 60%, um, 
okay that means this line will be 60% of the width of the browser as you uh, resize the browser it will stay at 60 60% okay I believe the color also can be changed color equal to let's say uh, green or brown okay so let's see that so you can change that line okay uh, image how to insert uh, an image we're going to use this tag called image img uh, this is a standalone it needs not uh, it doesn't need a closure it's like your br or hr change the attribute by uh, assigning attribute source src for sh short we are going to uh, put the file name of um, the picture that we want okay in this case i have downloaded a picture of uh, oatmeal raisin oatmeal dash raisin dot jpg okay if you cannot see the extension make sure you go to your file browser view and enable uh, check the box that says uh, uh, show file extensions okay so my the file that is the name is oatmeal raisin.jpg make sure it's in the same folder as your home.html okay so i'm going to put the file name here let's paste it there and let's see it okay so that is our oatmeal raisin uh, picture over there you might want to resize the picture if it's too large it's going to take a long time to to load so make sure that uh, the resolution is not too high it's browser uh, friendly all right the other thing is uh image if you would like to let's say how do we put the image in the center okay uh if you image tag the align doesn't work on some so the best way to do is enclose the image within a paragraph okay and this paragraph is centralized and so it forces the image here to be uh, centralized as well so that's how you get it in the center okay image tag uh, you can make it appear anywhere uh, you can also use an image for the background okay so now we have a background color which is orange if you you can use the background tag and put a picture that it will tell the picture now I have a uh, downloaded a brown background which is a pattern texture brown space background dot jpg okay i'll just show you how that works it's a it's like a towel and it will towel the the background okay, save that and let me render that okay so it's it's one piece and the browser will just towel it uh, around the whole browser like that so you can put a background 